The Vidalta Bridge, completed in 2013, is a notable engineering feat situated in a steep wooded ravine in Mexico City. As a cable-stayed bridge, it is characterized by its structural elegance and the efficient use of materials, namely concrete and steel, which are integral to its design. The bridge's unique setting and specific construction challenges have contributed to the development of its distinct structural features, making it an important case study in contemporary bridge design. The bridge crosses a ravine with particularly steep and uneven terrain, which pose significant engineering challenges. The length to be spanned from the starting point at the bottom of a nearby building to the opposite abutment was 240 meters. The geographical constraints of the ravine offered the possibility of placing a support at a distance of 60 meters from the building. However, this created an imbalance in the spans, with one being 60 meters long and the other a much longer 180 meters. Such a significant disparity between between the two spans would have caused structural inefficiencies and an aesthetically displeasing design. To address this challenge, the designers conceived an innovative solution by incorporating an inclined tower. This single tower divides the bridge into two uneven sections, with lengths of 78.5 meters and 161.5 meters, respectively. Although this adjustment reduced the imbalance, a noticeable difference between the two spans still remained, which required further structural modifications to ensure the bridge's stability and aesthetic appeal. One of the most ingenious aspects of the Vidalta bridge design is the way it uses different materials for the two spans to achieve structural balance. The shorter span, measuring 78.5 meters, is constructed from concrete, which is significantly heavier than steel. By using concrete in this span, the designers effectively created a counterweight that helps balance the forces acting on the bridge. Concrete's heaviness serves to stabilize the structure, acting as a counterbalance to the lighter, steel-made main span. The longer span, stretching 161.5 meters, is made of steel, a much lighter material compared to concrete. This disparity in material weight, in conjunction with the uneven span lengths, allows for a balance of forces across the stay cables. The stay cables, which support the bridge, distribute these forces between the concrete and steel sections, ensuring that the tower remains balanced despite the asymmetrical design. This careful manipulation of material properties, utilizing concrete's mass and steel's lightness, demonstrates the complexity and precision required in modern bridge design. Beyond its functional design, the Vidalta Bridge is also an aesthetically striking structure. The inclined tower not only serves to even out the spans, but also adds a dynamic visual element to the bridge. Cable-stayed bridges are often celebrated for their visual lightness, and the Vidalta Bridge exemplifies this through its sleek lines and minimalist structure. The bridge appears to float over the ravine, its cables giving the impression of delicate strings supporting a heavy platform, despite the considerable forces at play. Moreover, the bridge's location in a wooded ravine enhances its visual appeal. The contrast between the natural environment and the man-made structure creates a compelling visual dialogue, highlighting the interplay between nature and engineering. The single tower and the arrangement of the cables also contribute to a sense of balance and harmony, despite the significant differences in span lengths and material weight. The demolition work for the replacement of the Volmarstein Valley Bridge began in May 2019 as part of a significant infrastructure upgrade on the A1 motorway in North Rhine-Westphalia, Germany. The Volmarstein Valley Bridge, a key link on the A1, had long been in need of replacement due to structural deterioration and the growing demands of modern traffic.
The A1 is one of the most important motorways in Germany, forming a major north-south connection, and the bridge plays a crucial role in the region's transportation network. The replacement project involved the demolition of the existing bridge structure, which was no longer capable of safely accommodating the increasing traffic loads and the heavy transport vehicles that regularly use the route. Built decades ago, the old bridge was showing signs of wear and tear, including cracks and material fatigue, making a complete overhaul essential. The demolition phase was carefully planned and executed to minimize disruption to the traffic flow on the busy motorway. The project required the temporary closure of the A1 in the Volmarstein area, with diversions in place to allow for the smooth execution of the demolition work. Specialized equipment was used to dismantle the bridge, including cranes, hydraulic breakers, and excavators, which systematically tore down the concrete and steel structure. The work was carried out in sections to ensure safety and avoid any unnecessary risks to workers and the surrounding area. Environmental concerns were also taken into consideration during the demolition, with efforts made to recycle as much material as possible from the old bridge. The concrete was crushed and repurposed, while steel components were separated and recycled. Once the old bridge was demolished, construction of a new, modern structure began the replacement bridge is designed to meet current safety and traffic standards with improved load capacity and enhanced durability. The overall project is expected to significantly improve traffic flow and safety on the A1 motorway. The Volmarstein Valley Bridge replacement is part of a broader effort to upgrade Germany's aging infrastructure, ensuring that key transportation routes remain reliable and efficient for the future. The Cowlane Rail Bridge replacement in Reading was a significant engineering project undertaken by BAM Nuttall in collaboration with Network Rail. This ambitious project aimed to replace the existing rail bridge at Cow Lane, Reading, which had long been a bottleneck for both rail and road traffic in the area. The project was filmed by Uppercut Productions, capturing the intricate details and impressive logistics of the entire bridge reconstruction process during the Christmas period of 2011. The old Cow Lane Bridge had become a notorious pinch point in Reading's transport infrastructure, both for road users and for the railway network, which is one of the busiest in the UK. The previous bridge, which had stood for decades, was too low for large vehicles to pass underneath and too narrow to accommodate the increasing volumes of traffic. Additionally, the structure was a constraint on the Great Western Main Line, which connects London with major cities like Bristol and Cardiff. The project to replace the bridge was part of a broader plan to upgrade the infrastructure in and around Reading. The goal was to improve the flow of traffic on Cow Lane, which had suffered from congestion congestion for years, and to provide more clearance under the bridge to allow larger vehicles to pass. Furthermore, the new bridge would increase the capacity of the rail network, allowing for faster and more frequent trains. The project was logistically challenging due to its location in a busy urban environment and the need to minimize disruption to both road users and the railway network. To mitigate the impact, the bulk of the work was scheduled during the Christmas holiday period of 2011, when rail traffic tends to be lighter. The bridge replacement involved a highly coordinated effort between BAM Nuttall, Network Rail, and their contractors. A major challenge was the restricted time window in which the old bridge needed to be demolished and the new one installed. The project began on the 24th of December 2011 with preparations for the removal of the old bridge and continued over the next four days with the new structure being positioned and installed by the 28th of December. December 2011. The rapid execution of the bridge move was essential to ensure that rail services could resume with minimal delays after the holiday period. Uppercut Productions documented the entire process, releasing an initial short video showcasing the critical period of the bridge move between the 24th of December and the 28th of December 2011. This footage captured the precision required in moving the new bridge into place.
a hydraulic jacking system was used to carefully lift and transport the new bridge into position, a delicate operation that had to be executed with accuracy and care. The site team worked around the clock to ensure that the bridge was installed within the scheduled time frame with minimal disruption to residents and commuters. Network Rail ensured that safety standards were upheld throughout, with continuous monitoring of the worksite and constant communication between the different teams involved in the project. After the new bridge was successfully installed, work continued into the new year, focusing on site clearance and final touches to ensure that both the rail and road networks could return to full operation. To meet growing demand, the Midland Main Line is undergoing its largest upgrade since its 1870 completion. A key part of this project is the electrification of the line from Bedford to Kettering and Corby, completed by December 2020. This allows quieter, cleaner electric trains to operate on the network, reducing emissions and improving reliability. However, the installation of high-voltage overhead line equipment, OL, requires sufficient clearance beneath existing bridges. Ford End Road Bridge, a 19-span brick arch structure in Bedford, lacked the necessary clearance under its third span. Careful demolition and reconstruction of the span using pre-cast concrete units ensured safety while protecting adjoining arches. The new parapets were refaced in brick to blend with the original structure. During the demolition of the third span of Ford End Road Bridge, sensitive monitoring equipment was employed to ensure the structural integrity of the surrounding arches remained intact. This technology provided real-time data on vibrations and movement. Additionally, track protection systems were implemented to safeguard the railway lines below, preventing disruptions to train services and ensuring safety for both workers and rail users. The original brick arch of Ford End Road Bridge was systematically replaced with modern pre-cast concrete units, which were installed in sections to enhance efficiency and minimize disruption. These pre-cast units were engineered to meet the necessary clearance for the overhead line equipment while providing the required structural strength. Each section was precisely aligned and secured to ensure a seamless integration with the existing bridge framework. This method not only accelerated the reconstruction process, but also improved the durability and longevity of the bridge compared to the original materials. After the new pre-cast concrete deck was installed, new parapets were craned into position to enhance safety around the bridge. These parapets are crucial in preventing individuals from coming into contact with live electrical equipment once the overhead line equipment is operational. To maintain aesthetic continuity with the original bridge design, the parapets were refaced in brick, ensuring they seamlessly integrated with the existing structure. The Noryang Bridge, a monumental feat of modern engineering, stands as a symbol of both Korea's rich maritime history and its cutting-edge technological advancements. Connecting Dioksen ri in Namhai County and Noryang ri in Hadong County, the bridge was built to accommodate increasing tourist and cargo traffic in the western region of Jongnam, offering a vital link between key highways in the area. Opened in September 2018 after nearly a decade of construction, the Noryang Bridge replaces the aging Namhai Bridge, which was restricted by a load limit of 32 tons, signaling a new chapter in the region's infrastructure development. The bridge, spanning a length that makes it Korea's third longest suspension bridge, represents a harmonious blend of form and function. Its striking design was inspired by Korea's revered naval hero, Admiral Yi Sun Sin and his legendary crane wing formation that played a pivotal role in his naval victories, particularly during the Battle of Noryang. The bridge's most distinctive architectural feature is its V-shaped inclined towers, which pay homage to Yi's 23 undefeated naval battles. 
These towers not only create a visual spectacle, but also contribute to the structural efficiency of the bridge by balancing the tension of the main and side cables. The Noryang Bridge's incline towers are an engineering marvel in their own right. Standing at 140.86 meters tall, the towers are angled at 8 degrees to optimize load distribution, which ensures that the bridge remains stable even under significant tension. This innovative design is a world first for a suspension bridge and required advanced construction techniques to execute successfully. The towers are anchored in foundations that were meticulously built by digging 30 meters into solid bedrock, a process that was completed in four stages to ensure stability. These foundations are capable of supporting an immense 42,000 tons, making the bridge not only a symbol of beauty, but also a feat of durability and strength. The construction process of the Noryang Bridge was equally impressive, utilizing state-of-the-art technologies and precise engineering. For the tower construction, an auto-climbing system was employed, which allowed adjustments to be made to the tower's shape and angle as the project progressed. The towers were divided into 37 segments, each 4 meters tall, and GPS-based measurements were used to ensure exact alignment of each segment. This level of precision was essential to achieving the final structural integrity of the bridge. One of the most complex aspects of the construction involved the main cables, which are composed of 7,680 individual wires. These wires were installed using an air spinning technique, in which each wire was pulled across the straight by a winch and then carefully arranged and tensioned to form the strands of the main cable. After creating 16 strands, a compaction machine was used to ensure that the cables were tightly bound together, enhancing the bridge's overall strength and stability. This process was crucial for ensuring that the bridge could withstand not only the daily weight of vehicles, but also environmental factors, such as wind and weather. The steel girders used to support the bridge's roadway were manufactured in a plant in Guangyang and then transported to the construction site in 45 blocks. These girders, weighing a total of 8,500 tons, were carefully lifted and assembled using specialized lifting devices, including 1,200-ton cranes for the center sections of the bridge. The precision involved in placing and securing these girders was crucial to the overall success of the project, as they form the backbone of the bridge's structural integrity. Beyond its functional aspects, the Noryang Bridge is designed to be a visual attraction. Its advanced lighting system, which changes colors with the seasons, creates a stunning nighttime view that enhances its aesthetic appeal. Situated within the picturesque Halioesong National Park, the bridge offers breathtaking views of the surrounding landscape, making it a popular destination for tourists. The decision to space the bridge's main towers 890 meters apart, placing them on land rather than in the water, was made to preserve the marine ecosystem of the national park. This design choice reflects a thoughtful balance between infrastructure development and environmental conservation. In terms of economic impact, the Noryang Bridge is expected to play a pivotal role in boosting regional tourism and trade. By connecting key highways and reducing travel times, the bridge facilitates the movement of goods and people across the region, contributing to local economic growth. The bridge is not just a transportation link. It is a symbol of Korea's engineering prowess and a testament to the country's ability to execute complex, large-scale construction projects. The Noryang Bridge is a remarkable structure that embodies both Korea's proud maritime heritage and its forward-thinking approach to infrastructure development. From its innovative inclined towers to its environmental preservation efforts, the bridge stands as a modern tribute to Admiral Yi Sun Sin's legacy, while also serving as a critical artery for the region's economic and transportation networks.